the nervous system. A stimulus is defined as a change in the environment. It could be anything, a loud noise, a sudden change in the light levels, and any change in the environment. You need to know this order that a stimulus travels uh, along the nervous system. It starts at a receptor, could be your, your touch receptors in your skin, could be your eyes, travels then along a sensory neuron into a relay neuron, passed then along to a motor neuron, which then connects to an effector. Effectors are things like muscles or could be glands releasing chemicals like hormones. You need to know about reflexes. You need to know that they're fast, that they're automatic and they're protective. They help you to survive. The brain. You need to know about three parts of the brain. The first one is the cerebral cortex. That's the part of your brain that does the clever thinking. Conscious thought, language, memory, that kind of stuff. You need to know about the cerebellum. That's important for balance and movement. If you had a problem with your cerebellum, you'd be falling over all over the time. You need to know also about the medulla. The medulla is a really uh, primal kind of part of your brain. It's involved in your heart and breathing rates. We know about the brain because we can study with MRI scans now, or we can stimulate parts of people's brains and see what happens. Um, historically, we also used to look at brains that were injured, and we'd see what things did those people have wrong with them when they had injuries to particular parts of their brain. This is the eye. You need to know about the various parts of the eye. Um, you need to know about the sclera, which is not shown on here, which is the white part of your eye that protects your eye. You need to know about the iris, which is the coloured part of your eye that controls the amount of light that enters and leaves the eye. You need to know that the retina contains the light-sensitive cells, and it's at the back of the eye. This is your endocrine system. Your endocrine system is your system that includes your hormones. You need to know that the pituitary gland is the master gland. It secretes lots of important hormones that control other glands. Some famous ones are FSH and LH, which are important hormones to do with female reproductive um, biology. You need to know about the thyroid. The thyroid produces thyroxine, which controls your basal metabolic rate. It means how fast reactions happen in your body. You need to know about your adrenal glands. Obviously they produce adrenaline. Your pancreas produces insulin and glucagon that control your blood glucose levels. And your gonads produce the, sec um, the sexual hormones like for example testosterone or estrogen. Plant hormones um, are involved in various tropisms which are growth. Phototropism is growing towards or in response to light Gravitropism is, is, is in response to the gravity of the Earth. Hydrotropism is to do with water. You need to know about three plant hormones. Auxins, which are basically involved in plant growth. You can use them as weed killers. You make the weeds grow too fast. Gibberellins, which are involved in germination. Um, and ethene, which causes fruit ripening. We use ethene commercially to make sure that fruits ripen um, at the right time before sale. DNA is a double helix polymer. Um, a gene is a length of DNA that codes for a protein. The most important thing about DNA is it's a code for making proteins. Your genome is defined as the entire genetic material of an organism. In inheritance, you need to know some important words. The dominant allele is the one that's always expressed, even if there's only one copy of it present. The recessive allele is only expressed if you have two copies present. If the two alleles that are present are the same, the organism is homozygous for that trait. If the alleles are different, then they're heterozygous. These definitions are taken the from the specification. Just spit these out verbatim in the exam. Males are XY, females are XX. The picture at the bottom right of this is called a Punnett square. You need to be able to draw one of those. Evolution. These are your key words that you use in an answer about evolution. Mutations happen randomly. They increase the variation in a population. Individuals with favourable variations are more likely to survive and reproduce and pass on the allele gene for the favourable variation to the new generation. Here are some famous people. Darwin came up with natural selection. Wallace also came up with natural selection at the same time, also famous for work on warning colours and speciation. Linnaeus came up with the ideas about classification and naming organisms with a scientific name, and Mendel came up with all the genetic stuff. Good luck!